Hampshire hosted Middlesex for the second time already this season after the two sides drew at the Aegeus Bowl in the county championship in April. The hosts won the toss and elected to bowl and Middlesex openers Gubbins and Milan got off to a bright start in overcast conditions. That looked good. That looked really good. The pair almost put on a 50-run opening stand before Berg got the breakthrough. McManus taking a fine catch down the leg side to dismiss Milan. In came Robson, who immediately gave Hampshire a chance for a second wicket. He then moved on confidently with Gubbins, and the pair looked comfortable. Hit in front of square and powerfully hit as well. In the 13th over, though, their progress was interrupted as Robson pulled up with a hamstring injury and was forced to leave the field. That brought Voges to the crease, who got off to a steady start and built a strong partnership with Gubbins. A few chances went begging for Hampshire. Oh. and the Middlesex pair pushed on. Hampshire persisted though and Crane got the important breakthrough. Gone up, should be taken, simple catch and exactly what the captain wanted. Simpson joined Gubbins in the middle as the opener soon brought up his fine century. Terrific hundred for Nick Gubbins, just his second in one day cricket. It's been very controlled, it's been very measured and his team are in a very strong position thanks to him. The pair continued to play their shots. Lovely shot. And it took a special delivery from Topley to finally send Gubbins on his way. Franklin came in and looked to move through the gears. But then another wicket fell. Simpson gone off the bowling of Crane and good work from Irvine to take the catch. Higgins followed soon after. Another chance and a good catch. This one going away to his left this time. Berg then picked up his second wicket of the innings. Catches the cries, he hold out to deep square leg, he has picked him out. With boundaries drying up for Middlesex, Franklin tried to up the tempo, but hold out in the deep. Helm then tried to follow suit. Down to third man in the air and it's a really good snatch. Fuller was the next to go. The flick straight down the throat of deep mid wicket. That brought the injured Robson back to the middle, showing guts to come out and face the last delivery. He didn't add any runs though as Hampshire finished on 295. Excellent display from Govins at the top of the order, the standout performance. Hampshire did well in the end to restrict Middlesex below 300. Topley, the pick of the bowlers. Hampshire left needing 296 to win. And they look to get off to a lively start, Carberry finding early boundaries. But in the third over, the opener was gone. Bit of bounce down to third man, could be out, is out. And there was no stopping Roland Jones from there. Edge gone. Big wicket this. Taken, good catch that. Roland Jones hitting the deck hard and there's an under edge. It's another wicket for Middlesex, another wicket for Roland Jones. He's now got four for nine. With those early wickets, it was down to Bailey and Irvine to try and steady the ship. Bailey, who hit 63 versus Essex last time out, started to show his good form with a flurry of boundaries. Beautifully played again. And Irvine was getting in on the act too. These two put on a partnership of 70 runs before Middlesex struck again. Catch it! Man in the deep, picks him out, simple catch. That brought McManus to the crease, but not for long. Ball bowled him, middle stump, skids it through McManus's defence. Higgins gets another wicket. Despite others falling around him, Bailey reached his 50. Well, an unusual way to get it through for a single and through for his 50, bouncing it over the keeper. Berg tried to support Bailey. But he soon fell to Patel. Long off is in place, should be taken and is. With the rain persisting in Southampton, halfway through the 31st over, the umpires took the players off the field. With conditions not improving on the south coast, no more play was possible. And with the hosts 89 runs short of the Duckworth Lewis target, it was successive defeats for Hampshire. A great bowling performance from Roland Jones helped his side secure their first win of the campaign.